YouTube doing stuff daily we're uh, taking a power steering rack out of this because you can see it's leaking uh, so we got to our tie rod ends and now we have to uh, take this apart here ball joint tie rod end ball joint um, I stopped myself as you can see so we gotta take this cotter pin out first and um, a lot of people will say just put your socket on here and run it out which works but at the same time you gall threads up and a lot of times next time you go to put it in the ball joint's gonna spin on you you have to squeeze this together super hard with put a you know put a jack under here or something like that just hold it up keep it from moving um, but this this way saves your threads and uh, yeah, it's not hard to do. It takes a little bit of extra time, but not too bad. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to bend this upper tab up and down, up and down, up and down until it snaps off. Then we're going to bend the lower tab up and down, up and down until it snaps off. Now if you look real close, you'll be able to see that the other side of this cotter head, right here, the bolt's actually super tight on one side and loose on the other side. So that means after they put the cotter pin through, they cranked it, just to keep it tight so the cotter pin wasn't wiggling and fall, possibly fall out. I mean, you know, you and I both know it wouldn't, but I guess it makes uh, maybe less noise or something. I don't know why they do it, but they do it. Same with the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this back tab off here. Then we're going to rotate our nut a little bit in the direction to take up some of this free space, give it a little bit of free space on this side. And then we'll be able to pull the cotter pin right out. If not, we can force it out a little bit, but... We won't have to just take the bolt off, or the nut off, with uh, the cotter pin still installed, which is our main objective, because we don't want to go all those threads up, because we like bolts and nuts to go together properly. So, I'm going to pause the video real quick, and uh, I'm going to snap this tab off, and then there's a bottom tab below it, right down there. I'll snap that guy off as well, and I'll show you what we have. All right, so we snapped the top one off, pulled the bottom one up. So the reason we're doing this is to allow the the, uh, the socket to go around the nut. Because without doing this, obviously, you can't get a socket around it to rotate the nut. So that's, I mean, that's the reason why we're breaking all these two tabs. But that's what it looks like with the top one gone. Now we're about to do the bottom one. All right, so we got both our tabs off. And you can see they're flush. So now we need to rotate this nut. I need to rotate it, looks like, clockwise. This will free up the side on the, the key head, which will in turn, should in turn, free up some side on this on this back side over here, which would have been, or that, sorry, this far side, which would also have been tight. You can kind of tell that the, there's dirt over here and it's no dirt on that side. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate a little bit and see if we can free it up. See if I can leave this on while we do this. It's an ice cream man out here. It's pitch black out. I don't know, maybe even probably 40 degrees. There's an ice cream man out here. That's, you know, I guess he does it really for the kids, huh? It's catching on that head a little bit. I'm gonna have to tap it down. Okay, now nope, we got her to go. Okay, when we said clockwise, right? So we're just gonna, I don't know where I'm gonna put my phone. We're just gonna give it a little tap. I wanna use two hands to make sure we don't slip off the uh, off the nut, but we're gonna give it a tap, check it, give it a tap, check it, don't go. All right, so we gave her the taps. Took two taps, you can see how it centered it all up. Removed all that junk from the inside. Oh, here goes the ice cream man again. Uh, so now we're going to take our awl and we're going to go ahead and push it out from the back side. I'm also going to use a, uh, I'm going to use my ratchet, the back side of the ratchet, put it in here and make kind of lever action. Obviously I need all my hands for that so I'll be back. Alright, so I don't know if you can still hear the ice cream man but he's still there. Didn't take me too long, I got it free. First try. If you get it loose correctly, it's not gonna be hard. And just pull it out. 
See that? No damage to your threads. No damage to the nut. Yes, it takes a little bit of time. But, alright, so it, it was a little bit of time lapse. This is a five minute video. Maybe it took me seven minutes. And I don't have to buy a new nut. And I did not destroy my, my tie rod end. I think that's a win. Okay, so, doing stuff daily. Kind of pissed off about the driveway. As you can tell, it's been leaking for some time. I just been putting it off. So now we're gonna rebuild the rack, put her back in, and send her sailing. Send it. Doing stuff daily. Have a good day.